Gonzalez, and this week's activities is volleyball girls will be playing here against Cotula Tuesday and against Jordison Friday. They'll be playing at 5 o'clock, so come out and support them. Sophomores, listen up. There will be a sophomore parent meeting Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Have your parents come out so you can, so you can be more informed about what's going on with y'all's class. Thursday, there'll be an app testing going on for seniors, and there'll be a basketball meeting right after school. Friday, our boys will be, will be playing Crystal City uh, here. It'll be our first home, uh, game back. Come out and support them. They'll be playing at 7.30, and JV will be playing Thursday in Crystal City at 5.30. Come out and support. Let's go, Wolves. Garfield. I'm Mark Rodriguez. Okay. What is the EMT program? Uh, the EMT program is a dual credit program provided here by DDISD in connections with SWTJC to provide uh, students here with uh, dual credit information and hopefully an EMT certification in the EMT program. Mm -hmm. And we'll be um, learning basic life saving skills, which will be extremely beneficial whenever we're out in the real world and we encounter real life situations where someone is hurt or seriously injured. Okay. What is National Night Out? National Night Out is an opportunity for the uh, law enforcement to build a stronger relationship with the community, and it also brings awareness to crime. Okay, why are y'all going to be at the National Night Out? Uh, we will be at the National Night Out to uh, provide our information, such as hands-on CPR, um, any other skills that we know, such as maybe nebulizer, how to use inhalers, EpiPens, and if there's anything else that you have questions about, we'll be there to answer and we'll be giving out brochures. Mm -hmm. Basically, we just wanted to give back to the community because we wouldn't be here if there wasn't further support. When is National Night Out? Um, it's October 1st, Tuesday. So if you have time, um, just come out, visit us. We'll be happy to show you CPR or uh, answer any medical questions, basic medical questions. Seniors, we want all of you to come by. Uh, you need to bring the uh, 2018 uh, taxes, your parents' taxes. If you held a job in 2018, you also need to come bring the uh, 2018 uh, tax forms. W-2 forms, Social Security numbers, uh, any other financial documents that will help you uh, fill out the FAFSA. FAFSA is a free uh, financial aid application, so everyone is welcome to fill it out no matter uh, the income level. Uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but seniors, uh, most times you are not able to apply for scholarships without completing your financial aid. So it's very important that you invite your parents. Uh, we have, we'll have snacks, so make sure you invite your parents. You'll be there and fill out the financial aid application. There will be a Southwest Texas Junior College representative to uh, help you through the process. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Torres or Ms. Solis uh, at any time. Don't miss out. Fast for night, October 3rd. Go Wolves! <laughs> Hi, this is Coach Flores. I guess everybody knows me as Coach Flo. I just want to invite everybody to come see us here uh, this coming week. Over, We're going to be running at both, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning with the varsity girls, then the varsity uh, boys, and then down to uh, middle school. We are here with Miss Ibarra, our UIL academic coordinator. Hi, Miss. Hi, really. How's it going? Very good, Miss. Good. What does UIL stand for? University Interscholastic League. Mm -hmm. What do students gain from participating in UIL? Students gain experience in an academically competitive environment, mm -hmm. and they also get to interact with students from other schools. Yes, ma'am. Any events coming up for you all? Yes, we do have our student activity conference, October 26th. It'll be in Austin, so we'll leave here at 6 a.m. on that day. Be back by 4, though. Thank you for, for your time. We appreciate it. Sure, anytime. Thank you, Miss. Yes.